What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the Egyptian Zodiac. Um, just another one of our many Zodiacs from around the world. Previously we've looked at the Incan uh, insect one, the Aztecs, the Mayans. We've looked at, uh, I mean I'm continually doing um, parts of um, the star signs and astrology, continually doing videos on the Chinese zodiac. Um, what else have I previously done? Um, I know that I've got videos coming up for um, two different types of Celtic one. Um, we'll eventually be looking at rune stones and there's all sorts of stuff from all around the world. And this is the one that pertains to um, uh, to Egypt. So there are, like our um, sort of Western astrology, there are twelve signs here. However, for these signs, there are instead of it being a one month lump, it's sort of a twelve week cycle times four to make it the whole year if if that makes sense so sign one will be week one and then week 13 week 25 and then week quick math here 37 um now if you're doing your maths yes that does leave four weeks we uh we don't worry about that um, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Alright, so our first sign, the one that goes from January 1st to January 7th, um, again June 19th to 28th, and then from September 1st to 7th, and then November 18th to 26th, is the Nile. Um, so if you're born in any of those dates, you're the Nile. Um, first sign of the Egyptian zodiac is called the Nile. It's representative of a new start. People born under this sign are very passionate about life. They try to avoid conflict whenever they can. They love to dream about the possibilities of life and they are most compatible with Amun-Ra and Set. Um, Amun-Ra is the next. Now this one, it's only given me two dates. Um, so we got January 8 to 21 which is a full sort of two week period there. And then February 1 to 11th, which again is a full two week period. Um, so they'll each equal four weeks in total, but it's not necessarily gonna be spread out like the Nile is. Um, it does make right up this calendar look very confusing. Um, so the second one is obviously Amun-Ra, as I said. Um, these people make good leaders. They come across as being very controlled and confident. They strive to be best at what they do and are motivational and encouraging to others. They may find success in counselling or mentoring. They're most compatible with the Nile and Horus. Now, what I will say for these first two signs is I can agree. Um, my sister is a Nile and that, even though it was a very short, sweet, kind of vague, um, it, 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 it is sort of, it is sort of my sister. Um, now for each of these, I'll leave the link down below. Find your sign and then just click to continue reading if you want to get the full reading. Because um, I'm only going to be reading the little blurbs that they've got. Um, now for the Amun-Ra one, as I was saying before, um, it, it's also correct. Um, finding success in counselling or mentoring. Um, my brother is a is a um, Amun-Ra and he is a, um, a teacher's aide, so that makes a lot of sense. All right, the third sign is uh, Mut. Um, Mut is a symbol for the mother. People born under this sign are nurturers by nature and make good parents. They're logical and practical thinkers and would do well in careers in law, nursing and or teaching. They're most compatible with the signs of Amun-Ra and Toth, uh, and their dates are 
22nd to 31st of January, so they're the last time to finish for January, and then September 8 to 22. Um, so they help sort of do the majority of September. We've then got Geb, February 12th to 29th, and August uh, 20th to 31st. Oh uh, no, because that's all right. So this is the fourth sign um, they would take after Amun-Ra in February. Uh, so people born on the other side of Geb are kind-hearted and sensitive. They trust their intuition uh, and their feelings and can be affected deeply by things happening in the world. They are environmentally conscious and aware of any harm being done to the earth and they're compatible with the signs of Set and Horus. Osiris. Uh, March 1 to 10, and then November 27th to December 18th. Um, our first um, sort of sign that crosses months within its, within its span. Um, so, people born under Osiris have two sides to their personality. On one side, they're strong, and on the other, they're vulnerable. Uh, they're independent and go after their goals with enthusiasm. They have lots of energy and are very independent. Uh, and they are most, compa most compatible with the signs Isis and Toph. And then obviously the next sign being Isis. March 11 to 31, October 18 to 29, uh, and uh, December 19 to 31. So... Christmas is in Isis, um, and obviously, I shouldn't have to say this, but we're talking about the Egyptian goddess, not the terrorist cell. Um, people born under the sign of, um, of, uh, of Isis are very direct, they like to get to the point with no misunderstandings, um, as Isis is a natural protector, they're very protective. Uh, and mothering to those they love. They have an energetic and playful personality and they're compatible with Osiris and Toth. Toth is our April Fool from the 1st to 19th of April and then November 8th to 17th uh, and is known as the God of Wisdom. Therefore, people born under this sign are good at problem solving. They have good memories and never forget a good deed done by someone else. They're naturally romantic and are always looking for a stable partnership. Um, they are compatible with the signs of Bastet and Isis. Um, we finally get to our sign of Horus, um, April 20 to May 7th and August 12th to 19th. People born on the side of Horus have a lot of courage. They take risks in order to achieve their goals. They love to be in charge and crave security. Um, they are optimistic and want to always be the best in life. And they're compatible with Bastet and Geb. Anubis, May 8th to 27th, June 29th to July 13th. Um, people born under Anubis, love solitude. They're very passionate and need time to be introspective. They are introverts who love peaceful environments. Their emotions can be intense, but they are generally very calm uh, and even-tempered. They are confident and have a regal air about them, and they're compatible with Bastet and Isis. Set, May 28th. To June 18, September 28 to October 2nd. Um, people born under set um, are perfectionists who are always seeking change. They have a hard time being in one place. They're good communicators uh, and love to be the center of attention. They have outgoing personalities and love the challenge of any obstacle. Uh, they're most compatible with the signs of Geb and the Nile. Alright, then we've got Bastet, or just Bast, if that's a lot easier for you to remember, because it's the black cat-headed god from Black Panther. 
um, July 14th to 28th, September 23rd to 27th, and October 3 to 17th. I am a bust child. Um, so people born on the planet of bust are searching for peace and balance in their lives. I mean, really, the balance bit should give away that this is sort of the key uh, Libra sign. Um, they have a strong intuitive sense and have a natural ability to sense the true motives of others. <sighs> that I do. That I do. I don't know how many times I've been able to to, to just look at a person and be like, mm, nah, don't like their vibe. And then months, potentially even years later, everyone else finds out that I was I was right and I picked it. They never remember that I picked it, but they always find out what I sort of picked up at the at the start. Uh, they may be attracted to the occult and metaphysics. Not me with my moon oracle cards sitting right there. Or you know, at both my other decks in a drawer under my bed, along with my witch's dice, my runes, um, my scrying bowl, my scrying mirror. Uh, yeah, no, not me with any of that. Damn, okay. This has a lot to do with me right now. Uh, and we are compatible with the signs of Sekhmet and Horus. Um, now, interesting thing about uh, Sekhmet and Bustet, they are actually, obviously, if we use the, 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 um, the other name of Bust for Bustet, Bust and Sekhmet are cat-headed gods. Bustet is just a simple black cat head. Sekhmet is actually a lioness. And they are both name dropped as gods of Wakanda in the Civil War. Um, so this is actually really interesting um, that we're compatible with them. And then Horus, it makes, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I do like eagles. And uh, Horus has got the falcon head, I think. So that makes a lot of sense. Also, my Native American spirit animal is a falcon, so that's that's something as well. Maybe I'll end up marrying a, a Horus baby. Anyway, Sekhmet, our twelfth and final. Um, so July twenty nine to August eleven, and then October thirtieth. So our Halloween babies to November seventh. People born under uh, Sekhmet are very down to earth. They are intelligent and do best in positions of authority. They are perfectionists and have a good sense of fairness and justice. They would do well in careers as a judge or CEO, and they're most compatible with Bust and Geb. When are on horror states again? Of course it is. Late April, early May which also happens to line up with, uh, actually no, it almost lines up with, with the dates for Taurus. No, it does, it does line up with the dates for Taurus. Taurus is, is a, a strongly compatible sign for Libra, so Chances are, if I'm going based off astrology, I will end up marrying a, a Horus baby. Very interesting. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got for this video. Um, if you would like to, that link will be in the description down below, so you can go ahead and click on that, find your sign, read your article to your heart's content. Maybe you wanna you wanna read your, your partners, so see what you're getting into. Um, I don't think that one has a full compatibility 
calculator because obviously the Egyptian zodiac is not as well known, um, so it's not as widely practiced. Um, but this is just something that I find fun and interesting. Um, it was part of the tools and stuff that I used to sort of find myself. Like I basically know all of my zodiacs. Um, we'll get in. We'll get into some of them. Um, we've got a, a Persian one called the Zoroastrian zodiac coming up. Um, yeah, there's 32 signs um, and works in a similar way to the Chinese zodiac. And that one sign rules the year, sort of thing. Um, yeah, there's. Um, if I haven't already done them, there's the the um, spirit animals of um, Native North America. There's Aboriginal astrology. There's the African. There's two Celtic ones. Like I said, there's a whole bunch that I haven't even touched yet. Um, so we're really just beginning. Um, and therefore, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another one of these um, Zodiac videos if you don't want to miss out on them. Um, if you liked this one, give it a thumbs up uh, and let me know down in the comments below what was your sign um, and how accurate to you was the little blurb that I read out, or if you've gone and read the article and come back, how accurate was the whole thing to you? Um, how open were you with yourself um, when sort of being a little bit introspective? Um, yeah, uh, and with all that out of the way, until next time, guys, keep your head screwed on.